Hello everyone, I'm Alex Smith and I'm go today I'm going to be showing you part 2 of how to make a piggy game on Roblox. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to be scripting what happens when you click the play button and we're going to be adding a shop button. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to select your starter GUI you want to go to home and you want to click on this little button down here where my mouse is if you click that it will show your GUI that you've made so what you want to do is you want to add a local script into your main menu GUI you just need to search for it and it should come up and you're going to rename this <coughs> you're going to rename it camera handler you can delete the print hello world you're not going to need that and you're going to type in local camera is equal to workspace not works back workspace dot current camera and you're going to drop a line you're going to go local main menu map is equal to workspace dot no, colon wait for child brackets and speech marks main menu map so that's just um verifying your main that's just finding your main menu map which is the two camera parts and you're going to go back into that script <coughs> pardon me and, and you're going to drop down a couple of lines and you're going to go repeat wait with two brackets and you're going and it puts that little until down there you're going to do camera dot camera type is equal to enum dot camera type dot scriptable and you can probably select this the bit there you can copy it paste it down here but you're going to add an extra equals in there that's just a little see a little sneaky bit so you're gonna do camera dot c frame equals main menu map make sure to have the capitalization from your um, variable camera dot c frame equals main menu map dot camera part dot c frame and you're gonna so now if you play the game you see what happened your your character will be here probably behind the intro tunnel but you won't be able to move the screen like I'm clicking my mouse right now you can't move the screen so what you want to do is hide that starter GUI so you're going to click on it and click the button we click to open it and you're going to create a spawn which is just model and spawn and you can move it off of the map like that and you're going to set the trans it set its transparency to one you're going to set 
its size to let me just go down to it. You set its size to twenty comma one comma twenty. That gives you a nice big spawn point. And you're going to you're going to go scroll down until you get to starter player. And you're gonna scroll down until you get to dev computer movement mode and dev touch movement mode under controls user choice basically just means that you can move around the screen whatever you want but we don't want that so you're going to change that to scriptable and on computer touch movement mode that's just the same thing but on mobile so you guessed it we're going to change that to scriptable too and you're just going to go back to your spawn point and you're going to nice easy move here you're just going to find it and you're going to change its force field duration to zero so that just makes it a little bit cool you're going to show the starter gui again by clicking the same button again and you're going to add a local script to the play button so you're going to add the local script <coughs> and you're going to call it what just happened oh, i just i just deleted it let me just and you're going to call it um play client this is going to be handling what happens when you click play so let's just see i'm going to do local well actually you don't need to type that bit out again you can just go to your camera handler and copy and paste the first two lines in i know that's a bit cheeky you're meant to type it all in but since it's the same two things i thought yeah, let's just have a little bit of time off with our little fingers typing away. Let's go to local tween service. You're going to need that. It's going to be equals to workspace. No, it's not workspace. It's going to be game colon get service. And in brackets and apostrophe and possessive apostrophes, you're going to put not main menu map. You're going to put tween service. And now you're going to put local btn is equal to script dot parent. What that's saying is that the parent of the script, which is what the script is put into is the play button Wait, so it's just finding that play button you're going to do function tween camera in brackets pose tween time <coughs> and you're going to do tween service um, colon create and in brackets camera comma tween info dot new in brackets tween time um comma enum dot easing style um dot and you can scroll down this list and do anything you want i'm just going to make mine line here it's just basically how it moves between the two um part two camera parts I'm going to do comma 
and then those curly brackets and C frame equals post dot post comma C frame I think that's what it is let me just see and you're going to close that those brackets and you're going to put that closing bracket there and you're going to do colon play with two brackets at the end and then you're going to have an end there and you're going to drop two lines down you're going to do btn dot mouse button one click in all one word um colon connect brackets function and this one you're going to drop down and you're going to do btn dot visible equals to false btn dot parent dot title dot visible equals to false and then you're going to drop two lines down and you're going to do tween camera and you're going to do in brackets main menu map dot camera part two comma one and closing bracket and then you're going to do wait one and you're going to do print reach destination and then you're you're going to go to view you're going to open your output you're going to play the game and let's see if this works shall we you might get some errors in your code yes we have got some errors but we can um, check them again so you're gonna do let's go to our play client and let's see if we have any errors doesn't look like we have any on here or here um, so we should so it should be um, um, I need to go on play client and line 7 um, let me just go up um, sorry about this just correcting my errors it could be post or C frame let me just try that if you've got errors then make sure to just go every time you correct one little thing try the game again because any little bit could um, make it work again yeah it works now it's just that one little bit so it's going to be post dot c frame not post comma c frame I'm going to move my play button down a bit actually because I'm not happy with that and now I'm just going to scroll down on my thing that I'm doing so you're going to duplicate your play button and you're going to move it down under and you're going to rename that shop button you're going to delete your play client that duplicated version 
and you're going to make the background red and the text is going to be shop so and then what you're going to do is you're going to add a scrolling frame so you're going to add one of those but let's just select these three and you're going to set visible to false for a sec I'm just going to set the visible on this one to true oh it should be let me just show the UI again I don't get why you have to not show the GUI so visible to true and you can make the scrolling frame as big or as little as you want I'm just going to make it that big and you're going to make it as big as small as you want and you can change the background colour to 30, 30, 30. So it's a nice black colour. And you're going to rename the scrolling frame to shop frame. And insert a UI grid layout. No, not UI list layout. A UI grid layout to your um um so if you add that in and you can add and if you add an im so what this does basically if you add an image label it should show it well if it did if it would show and you would duplicate it and it would just make a lovely little shop layout and you need to add a local script to your shop button for next time and because the video is nearly over it's a bit of a shorter one today and you can hide your shop frame for now well I hope you enjoyed the video so let's just play the game one last time I hope you enjoyed the video. This is part two of how to make a piggy game in Roblox. If you, if this helped you, then please let me know down below in the comments, and you can and you can show support to the channel by liking the video and subscribing to my channel hit and hit make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified when there's a new video coming out i'm just going to add an extra line of code that i've improvised i'm just going to see if it works And now, and now let's try it. And then, because if you try it now, then the shop button's gonna be there. So let's play the game and see if it works now. This is just something extra that I've thrown in. Yeah, now all of it disappears. So I'm going to be going live tomorrow, sometime in the evening. And I'm going to be playing Piggy with all you guys out there. So, make sure to tune into that. Hope you enjoyed the video. That, this was part two. Bye!